Hello everyone, welcome to Language Studios. My name is Sail Bosle. Today we will see how we can download the source code for Android 11 using the Android Open Source project, and how we can build it and also run it on the emulator or on a physical device. So let's get started. So this is the blog post which I have written on my website, which basically talks about each and every step which we have to follow in order to successfully download and build the source code, as well as to run it on the emulator or on the physical device. So throughout this video, we will be following uh, two articles. So one is the documentation, official documentation of AOSP project. And the second one is this article, which I've written on my website. So if you scroll down, you will see a system requirement section, which basically talks about the system which you should have in order to download the source code so you should have a good uh, computer or a laptop in order to download and build this uh, operating system android 11 operating system so here you can see we should have a 64-bit version of linux or a mac using which we can build the usb project now currently windows is not supported so, so if you have a windows machine then make sure that you dual boot linux with windows or use a virtual machine like vmware or virtualbox in order to install linux then secondly you should have a 64, 16 gb of ram now i tried it on 8 gb of ram so when i was downloading android 11 i tried it on uh, 8 gb of ram but the problem was i was facing the java memory error and uh, i tried to increase the heap size and many different things but the error was still but i was still but i was still facing that error so what i have done is i increased the ram to 16 gb and uh, it successfully built the android 11 so there was no problems in that so in the official documentation also they mention that you should have a 60, 16 gb of ram and i will also say that uh, that's true basically because i tried it i also tried android 10 on uh, 8 GB of RAM and it worked fine so but uh, Android 11 it won't work I tried it so make sure that you have a 64, 16 GB of RAM and then only move forward otherwise you will face uh, memory errors mm -hmm. and the third thing is that you should have 250 or 300 GB of free space so mm -hmm. Android operating system is uh, really large in size so make sure that you have uh, free sp space almost 300 GB of free space. Now the first thing which you have to do here is to install the required packages. Now this is the long list of command uh, which you have to copy and paste it in your terminal. So this will install all the required packages which we will need in order to successfully download and build the Android 11 source code. So just copy this and paste it in your terminal. It will take some time. After that you have run, after that you have to run these two commands sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. The process of downloading the source code will take you around 7 to 10 hours uh, depending upon your uh, internet connection. So make sure that you have a good internet connection in order to build, in order to download the source code faster. So the first thing which we have to do here is we have to create a new directory called AOSP11 inside which we will be downloading our source code. So let's create the directory. So just copy this command and paste it in your terminal. This will create a new directory and we'll cd into it so after that we have to configure our git name and email address so copy copy the first command till user.name and in the quotation make sure that you put your own name 
and same thing with your email address just copy copy the second command till user dot email and in the quotation make sure that you put your own email address so now we have to download the repo tool so for that we have to go back to our home directory by using cd command and after that we have to create a bin directory so so the second command will create a bin directory and after that we have to add that directory to our path and after that we ha using the curl command uh, we can download the uh, download the repo tool and then we uh, using this ch mod we have to give the execution permission to that folder that bin folder so just copy each and every command and paste it in your terminal So, no, so now we have to download android 11 so for that we have to go to this page source code tags and builds now here we will find tags to all the android operating systems which are currently available from android 11 to android uh, nougat or pi or whatever so so make sure that uh, so after going to that website what you have to do is so in this case we will be downloading this tag android 11. 0, 0.0. 0. underscore r17 so currently this is the latest patch of android 11 which we will be downloading in future uh, there might be some other versions so you can download that if you are watching it some watching this video in later later in the future so this is this is where you have to select your tag in case you don't want to download android 11 if you want to download android 10 or android 9 then you can scroll down and select the appropriate tag now after that come back to our blog post and here this is the command repo init command so, so make sure that you are inside the usp 11 directory in order to run this command now copy the repo init command till the hyphen b and uh, after that you have to paste the tag which you have copied from source code tags and builds page so, hyphen b basically means branch so this is the branch which we want to download in this case if you want to download the master branch then don't specify any hyphen b or any tag you can just copy the command till the manifest and that's it it will download the master branch for you now if you get this error python no such file or directory then just scroll down in, in the blog post there is a command called sudo ln underscore s so just copy the entire command and paste it in a terminal this will solve this problem and then rerun the repo init command initialize the repository now the repo init command will take some time to execute so leave it as it is Now here it is asking us to enable color display in the user account so make sure that you click on yes you enter yes and click enter and after that you should get this message that uh, repo has been initialized in your directory now after that you have to run the command now after that you have to run this command repo sync which will basically download our source code now this command will take around 7 to 10 hours make sure that you have a good connection in order to execute this command faster so just copy this command and paste it in your terminal so after the repo sync command is successfully executed we will see how we can build the android operating system So now that we have finally downloaded the source code, so we have got this message, uh, repo sync has finished successfully. 
so it basically means that we have successfully downloaded our source code now it's time to compile the source code so if you scroll down in the blog post there is a section called compiling or building the android source code so first what you have to do is you have to initialize our environment so you, so make sure that you are inside the aosp 11 directory and you have to run this command so after that you have to select a target device on which you will be installing the operating system so this can be done using the lunch command so what you have to do is copy this command and you have to run it now what this command will do is it will give you a bunch of op options so out of this options you have to choose any one of any one of the options which is appropriate for you so these are the target options and you can cho choose any one of them now uh, in this case we will be building for the android phone so we can choose either the option 1 or option 2 so if your device is a 64 bit then you can choose option 2 but if your if your device is 32 bit then you can select option 1 now how you will know that now you can go to your about phone or uh, system info system in settings so if your phone supports a 64 bit operating system then it will show there x64 but if it is only supporting 32 bit then it may or may not show it then you just understand that your phone supports only 32 bit so if your phone only supports 32 bit then select one option so in this case i will be selecting one option option one because my phone doesn't support a 64 bit version of android so in this case i will select one and click enter so now after that we have to run this command m m basically stands for make so make is basically a compiler which is used to compile the android source code now in this case you can specify the number of cores which you want to assign for this operation for the compilation or building operation now uh, so if you want to check how much cores your system currently has you can run this command and proc so just copy this and paste it here now in this case it is showing me 8 now it basically means that my system has 8 cores in it out of which I can assign any number of cores to this now in this case I will assign all the 8 cores to the operation so that it can compile faster so you just have to type m hyphen j and specify the number of cores in this case 8 and I will click enter now my compilation process has started so it will take around 10 hours around 10 to 12 hours to build the android operating system so we have to wait for it now during this uh, compilation uh, during this uh, building process if you get some errors so these are the two errors which you might get so if you are getting the first error you can run this command sudo apt install and the package name and if you are getting the uh, out of memory error java out of memory error then what you can do is you can increase the you can run this command export java options and in place of 8g 8g basically means that we are increasing our heap size to 8gb and uh, by default i think it is 4gb so we we should increase we can increase it to 6gb or 8gb now if you are using a 16gb ram then definitely you will not get any error there are very low chances of getting this memory error but if you are using 12 GB RAM, you might face it. 8 GB of RAM, definitely you will face it. Definitely. So now our build has failed. And uh, this is the reason for it. So no, no such file or directory. So what you have to do is. So this, this is the error which we got. And uh, to solve this, we have to run this command. Uh, which will install this package. after that we have to run the make command again so i will run make so after the building process is completed we will see how we can flash this android 11 on our actual physical device so see you later